Uh, Chad Ochocinco, Chad Johnson, is out on bond after he was arrested on a domestic battery charge this weekend. Is accused of headbutting his reality TV star wife, Evelyn Lozado, and now uh, he may have to change his career in light of all this, all this drama and criminal charges. Editor in chief of um, AlwaysAlist.com, John Murray, joins us uh, live. So, John, I guess the most recent thing is within the past hour, VH1 came with the statement that this show that they had both put so much into is not going to happen. What's your reaction to that? You know, I, I wasn't surprised by this announcement. I actually uh, caught wind this morning that they were planning on pulling the show because how can you show uh, a couple preparing for, preparing for their nuptials and, and having this whole blissful union uh, when a story like this now comes out. And so, you know, the statement said that they don't have any plans of airing the show. They don't have any announcement as to what they're going to do. And this show was on the September lineup. It was coming out very, very soon. So that puts to rest all the skeptics who were saying that this whole ordeal was some strange publicity ploy to roll out the show. No, this is the real deal what we're experiencing here. And, and the real deal is actually very sad and, um, and very, very jarring what this police report um, alleges is that she ran to a neighbor's house um, after he allegedly headbutted her. Now, of course, he says that that's not what happened, but this is very, very serious stuff. And now, it's, I know you know Evelyn Lozado, right? There is. Well, we, we've only met. We've. We've only met once, and, and, and we know each other casually. She reached out when the backlash Explain against her that. TV Explain show. Explain this. Yeah, yeah. She, when, oh, when, there was a lot of backlash against Basketball Wives, the reality show that she appears on on VH1, right. because of the images that it conveys. And so when it hit her fevered pitch, uh, I, I got a call saying that she wanted to have a dialogue with me, and they wanted to see if I could facilitate a dialogue with her and Star Jones, who had been on the forefront of saying these images had to stop. And so this was all done privately. We had not publicly disclosed it. Uh, and for weeks, it remained private, but there was a Vibe magazine cover that Evelyn was on the cover of, mm -hmm. and there was an inflammatory quote that she had in there about Star because she had reacted to Star's backlash prior to the dialogue. And so she only publicly disclosed everything that happened behind the scenes to put out any beef that people would have thought she had with Star Jones. So where, in, there's, there's two separate questions, right? There's the question, John, of where do they go professionally now? Because he... He's, he's probably not going to get signed by any team now that he's gotten cut from the Dolphins, right? Um, so there's a question of where do they go professionally, and then a completely separate and I think more important question of personally what happens now. Right. Uh, personally, I, I think a divorce is imminent. I, from what I'm hearing, they will, there will be no reconciliation here. I'd be surprised if there was. Professionally, uh, you know, he had already done an interview uh, prior to, you know, preparing for the season uh, just a few weeks ago saying that if for whatever reason the Miami Dolphi, uh, Dolphins cut him, he was going to go into pornography, and he emphasized he was serious. I don't know if that's something he's really going to do. Um, I know that VH1 is still committed to the Evelyn brand. She's still a part of the uh, franchise, basketball-wise, and mm -hmm. there may be some exploration now of her telling her story, what went wrong, very much like Kim Kardashian did after her marriage failed after 72 days. I mean, there's certainly a lot of very important topics that could be touched on as a result of something this, this horrible happening, so we'll have to see how the dialogue um, progresses. Uh, John Murray, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Anytime.